Hi, we're going to use Tinkercad to do some basic circuit diagrams for our Arduinos and breadboards and components. So what we're going to do once we've signed in is we're going to go to right here where it says create and we're going to click on create and we're going to create a circuit. This should open up and these are all of your components and essentially what we're going to do is we're going to wire our components to a small breadboard and an Arduino Uno. So let's start by dragging a breadboard out onto the area here, the, our working area. Now, of course, I can change the name of this if I want to, or I can just leave it as name one. I can rotate it. You can see this button right here allows me to rotate my breadboard. I'm also going to drag out my Arduino Uno. And again, if I want to rotate, I can hit this rotate button right here. Let's put our first component on. So I'm going to bring out this LED. And I can change the color of the LED. I can say, you know, I want this to be green, or I want this to be yellow, or I want this to be orange, or I want this to be blue, whichever color you'd like to pick. I think I like green. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to bring it over to the breadboard. Now, you should notice that when you get near these holes, the cathode and anode will want to automatically pop into the holes in the breadboard. So what I'm going to do is let that happen. But I'm going to extend these a little bit because I want to make it look like what our breadboards in real life would actually look like. So I'm going to extend the cathode and anode down. And I'm going to first change the color of the wire. This really creates a wire. And I'm going to click on the cathode right here. And I'm going to extend it down three holes. And I'm going to do the same thing for the anode. Now you should see that this looks more like what we would see on our actual breadboards. And if I actually take my LED and I move them, you can see that these wires move with them. Our next step is to wire up our Arduino to our LED. By the way, this also works with any of these different components. So for instance, if I want to add a resistor, I can bring it in. I can define the type of resistor that it is. So for instance, if I want to say that this is a 220 ohm resistor, I can change it so that it is a 220 ohm resistor. And this goes for anything. If I want to add a push button or a potentiometer or an LDR, which is this photo resistor. And these are really going to be the components that we're going to use the most, plus the LEDs. If I don't want these on here, I can just delete them. Now, I'm going to wire this to my Arduino, and I'm going to show you how you can do a simulation of what you've done. So my next step is to attach a wire. Now, all of these pinholes right here are connected, and I know this because when I hover over this pin, you can see that there's a green circle over all of the pinholes that are connected to this pinhole. So this is this pinhole is J3 and you can see that when I hover over this that I3 and H3 and G3 and F3 are all connected with a circle. So that means that this wire is connected to all of those different pinholes. I do want to change the color of this and that matters because we want things to be color coded correctly. Any information coming out or into the Arduino should be red. So I'm going to attach a red wire to J3 here, and I'm going to bring it down to the digital pinhole 2 in my Arduino. And then I'm going to connect a black wire. So I'm going to go here, I need to change this to black, and I'm going to connect a black wire from the cathode down here to where it says ground. And this will complete my circuit. Now you'll notice that this wire right now is black and I don't want it to be black, I want it to be red. So now I have my circuit and this is correctly wired up and electricity would be coming out of D2 into the anode of my LED. It would turn my LED on, travel out of the LED through the cathode into this ground wire and then back into the Arduino Uno work where it would go back and do a circuit. So uh, this is correctly wired for a circuit, but I need to add some code because my Arduino doesn't really know what to do with this particular LED. So I'm going to create some code. 
Now I'm most comfortable with doing this with text, but you have the option to do it with blocks, blocks and text or text. So I'm going to select text and I'm going to click OK. Now there's some areas here that we, sh we should look at. Um, this is your setup and this is your function. This is where you're actually going to be doing your, your coding. And I need to tell the Arduino which pin is an output. So this D2 is my output. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of where it says LED built in. I'm going to delete that and I'm going to put a number two in there. Now, any place I see an LED built in, I need to change to a two. Okay, so this is telling me send an electrical, this is what high means. It says send electricity out of LED2. So I'm going to write out of LED2. I'm going to write out of digital pinhole 2 to the LED and tell it to go on for one second. And then I'm going to write that go to go off for one second and then just repeat that in a loop. Now, if I did my coding correctly, when I run a, a simulation, that is what I should see. So let me close the code and start the simulation. And you can see that my code is correct because my LED is going on for one second and then off for one second and then on for one second and then off for one second. And it will do this for infinity because this is a loop and it's a never ending loop. All right. Thanks for watching.